Hello, I'm Sheila Jones of Mrs Jones Bash in the Baking in Glasgow and welcome to our toffee cake recipe. Do you like a, an S shape with your uh, bowl? It's an S shape. But I can tell you, it tastes lovely. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Sheila Jones of Mrs Jones Bash in the Baking in Glasgow and welcome to our toffee cake recipe. This is actually my mum's recipe, but I've tweaked it a little and it's a lovely soft toffee cake. Normally in our house we would eat this hot but it's absolutely delicious uh, cold and you could just have uh, a buttercream covering to it and then covered in a toffee syrup as I have got here. This is a really great cake for beginners to try and the whole process should take about an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes from start to finish and of course when it comes out of the oven you can eat it hot. The cakes that you see Paul working with on his website are usually made from his delicious chocolate cake and that is, although it's very moist, it also has quite a lot of structure to it so when you're working with it, it's not terribly soft, although it is very soft to eat. This cake is very soft and in fact if I just push my finger there into the side of the cake you can see that. It's delicious but it may not be suitable for stacking and I certainly wouldn't stack it. If you were wanting to have a toffee cake for stacking you would need to add more flour to it and I would probably say about 20% extra flour but try that before you actually sell that to a customer. Um, just give yourself the confidence in that the fact that it is going to stack quite easily. So as usual, before I begin, I always make sure that I have all my ingredients ready. So just very quickly to talk about the cake tin, I use cake tins by a company called Invicta. Um, they're nice and sturdy, they do have a seam in them, but if you line the cake tin as I always do, bit round the sides and on the bottom, then you won't have any problems with the, um, with the seam showing through. Also, I always use digital scales, what's good enough for Paul Hollywood and Mary Berry is good enough for Mrs Jones. And also, I always make sure I have an oven thermometer. And you'll hear the oven in the background there, and I do have a second oven thermometer uh, that's in, inside the oven heating. So make sure that the oven is preheated. Um, to start this recipe, um, one of the things you need to make because it's toffee you need to give it that toffee consistency and how you would do that is by using dates so just before um, the boys arrived to start filming i actually made my date mixture and it actually looks quite gloopy but it tastes lovely and it smells delicious and what it is is uh, dates that have been roughly chopped three to four times each I'd put in a pan and, and some cold tea added and, and I like to use Earl Grey, it just seems to bring out the flavours of them both. Um, and you would bring them to the boil together for, um, it only takes a couple of minutes and then boil them without burning yourself for no more than 10 minutes until it becomes this gloopy consistency. What you can do to get it absolutely smooth like a puree is you could blitz that um, with a blender but I don't bother because I actually quite like the chunks, little chunks of dates in it. You have to leave that to go cold um, or certainly cool which might take as long as 15 minutes um, because you can't be adding a hot mixture to um, cold butter um, that you've already used because it might melt prior to going into the oven. So I'm just going to take these out the way. <clears throat> so we have our date mixture and just before I start I just make sure that I give it a good stir. It smells delicious. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cream my butter and my sugar and you'll see here I've got soft brown sugar here. You could use demerara sugar if you like and you could use dark brown sugar but I prefer soft brown sugar, it's choice. But and actually this is what my mum used to use so let's just use that. So I'm going to cream that, uh, uh, cream the sugar and the butter together. And I'm using unsalted butter and the butter has been at room temperature. They say that if you want to get your ingredients at room temperature, 
take them out uh, about 20 minutes before you start cooking. Actually, for me, that's not good enough. So if I'm doing a cake, I will be honest, I leave it out the night before. Or if I'm baking at the end of the day, the butter and the eggs and everything comes out the fridge first thing in the morning. So I'm going to cream this. This takes a couple of minutes and this, old, this beast of mine can be a little bit noisy. Um, so I'll come back once we've done it. Okay, so that looks fine to me. It's gone quite a nice pale, uh, a pale golden colour. And so that's ready for us to add our egg. Now to prevent the mixture from curdling, what I always try and do is put a heat teaspoon of flour in all my sponges. So just start with that. You don't need to sift it at this stage. Just get the flour till it's really just mixed in. And then we're going to add the egg. Got a couple of eggs in here and um, I've beaten them. The reason I put them in the jug is I want to be able to beat them before they go in so I get lots of air into them. But also if suddenly you maybe have a bad egg and you've only got the eggs enough to cover the recipe and you've broken them in there, your whole mixture is ruined. So I find it just easy to pour it into um, uh, to break them into the jug. So a little bit of noise as I add the egg and I'm going to add the egg in stages. So if I just come round to this side of the camera, here's the other reason that I put it into a jug, so that it'll hook, um, it'll hook over the edge of the um, uh, mixing bowl and then that gives me something to balance on as I'm adding the egg. So I'll just switch it back to here. Just add the egg just a little bit at a time. Some people say you should add only a teaspoon at a time, but quite frankly, you'd be here all day. So just add little bits of it at a time, just gently pouring it in. Big lump of it came out there. I really like the smell of um, soft brown sugars um, when the, the mixture is being creamed. It's a really lovely, rich smell. Always reminds me of making fruit cakes. going to put the speed up a little bit because we want, what we want to do now is really beat in that egg mixture. Really beat it till it's all truly combined. <clears throat> Nearly there. So you want the whole egg, you don't want it to look gloopy and kind of stretchy when you put the egg in. That's it. This beast gets a little bit angry, it kind of shuggles around on the work surface when I'm using it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some vanilla extract. So you just want a teaspoon. This is really good um, uh, vanilla extract masses and um, we're going to be stocking this in our online shop. Um, in fact, I think it's already in. So you just want a teaspoon, <clears throat> teaspoon of it in there. And then we're just going to mix that in. This just brings out the flavour of the dates with the tea. That'll do nicely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the date mixture. But what I'm going to do first is just clear down the beater because we've got some uh, batter from the cake mix on it. Waste not, want not. I can hear my mother on my shoulder saying. There we go. Just pop that to the side and lift the bowl. Oh, if I can get it out. Out of the housing. <coughs> just pop this down. And then what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to be mixing on a slippy surface, I'm just going to put a tea towel on there so it doesn't sugar around too much for me. I'm just going to stir it. Now, just before I move on, um, you've probably seen in my other tutorials that I use a flexible beater. I'll just wipe this a little bit. You'll see on the top here, there's almost like a split. There is a split on the top of the two um, 
on this rim and the reason that that's there is so that it moves back and forward in opposing directions when you're beating and it scrapes all down the side see it's got this extra flange and most of the food mixers that you'll buy today come with that <coughs> so now I'm just going to add the date mixture now if you leave the date mixture to sit for too long water comes out and if you see there's just a little bit of water um, there so what you want to do is just try and mix that in just combine it oh smells nice like that and then we're just going to add it in there we go just wipe that bowl clean clean this spatula this uh, spatula down there we go. And then what we're going to do is fold this in as well. So it's just do like a, an S shape with your uh, bowl. With some S shape. Back and forward or a figure of eight if you think that's easier. You don't have to have it heavily combined just so that it's mixed in and kind of streaky looking I guess and that's that that's ready okay so the next thing i'm going to add or the final thing is my flour and i know many people that don't sift flour but i can hear my mum on my shoulder you sift flour so that's what i'm going to do so this is just self-raising flour we're adding now and i always sieve it sieves come in different uh, sizes and different thicknesses of mesh as well so if i'm using icing sugar i've got a uh, uh, a sieve that's got very fine mesh so actually you don't get any lumps in it at all and then again all you want to do is just fold fold all this in you know there oh it smells great it does actually smell like a fruit cake okay so again you're not beating the living daylights out of this you're really just combining it and sometimes when you're doing this you get little bits of flour and uh, batter that's not mixed in here so just make sure that you've incorporated all of that and then we want to put that in our cake tin here so sometimes it gets a bit heavy so you have to hold this <coughs> or indeed you could just pour it as I'm just going to do here Let's get it over the hurdle. That's it. Okay, now I'm using here an 8 inch cake tin that's 3 inches deep, and again, as I said earlier, by um, Invicta. But you could use a square tin, indeed, you could use one of those tray bake uh, tins. Um, whatever your preference but just make sure that it's deep enough because you've added you've got self-raising flour in here there we are and then all I'm going to do is take my little cranked spatula and push the mixture out to the side you don't have to faff around with it all you're doing is getting it to the sides and getting it even and if you use the whole blade um, you'll not miss anything. There we go. And this cooks for about 45, 40, 45 minutes in an oven, preheated oven, 160 degree fan. I'll just pop that in. <coughs> and there we are. Well, our toffee cake has been out the oven about 15 or 20 minutes. It's still pretty warm and this would be a cake because it is soft I would recommend that you left in the tin for probably about 30 minutes uh, before you turned it out because it is quite soft however if you are eating it as a dessert and you're going to pour some lovely lovely toffee sauce over the top of it then leave it in the tin for about five minutes but make sure that you wear oven mitts um, I've got asbestos hands, so this is not too bad for me. So what I do if I'm taking it out the tin is I take the sides away first. Um, 
because if you don't, when you turn the cake over, the, the sides of the paper could damage the top of the cake. Oh, it's still a bit warm. Turn it over. Make sure your wire tray, of course, um, is the correct size. I've done many a, a time I've cooked a larger cake and only had my smaller wire tray available. And then going to turn it over like so and of course I've lined the bottom so just peel that off now what you can do is just leave it like that or you could flip it over in which case you could put another tray over the top but I don't because there we go and it is lovely and soft so that now is ready to eat with some toffee sauce or indeed I would leave it to go cold before you applied any buttercream in case the buttercream the sugar content of the butter the buttercream melts um, but I can tell you it tastes lovely enjoy